Well, the three Reconstruction Amendments, 13th, 14th, 15th, the 13th abolished slavery, the 14th established the principle of equal citizenship, the 15th tries to give black men the right to vote. These are all things which the federal government couldn't have conceived of doing before the Civil War. But the war itself empowers the national government, and the abolition of slavery leads, after a terrible political struggle, to the incorporation of black Americans as equal citizens of the society. The 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments each ends with a clause saying, Congress shall have the power to enforce this amendment. In other words, it gives Congress the right to protect the basic rights of American citizens. And even though those basic rights of blacks were soon violated and taken away, really, in much of the southern, many of the southern states, nonetheless, those amendments remain in the Constitution, and a century later, they would be the basis, the legal constitutional basis for the Civil Rights Revolution of the 1960s. A hundred years later, those amendments, Charles Sumner, the senator from Massachusetts during Reconstruction, said were sleeping giants in the Constitution. And they did sleep for a long time, but then they were reawakened by the civil rights movement and became the basis for the civil rights revolution of the 1960s.